Hi, welcome to a PowerPoint training session. This one we can look at smart art. Now, smart art is a feature within all Microsoft applications. You can use it within Outlook, you can use it within Excel or Word, but where it is most useful is in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, why would I want to use it? Well, I can see an example here. We've got the training booking process. So uh, just uh, make that a little wider there, there we go. So for instance, here we got our presentation we're gonna do with SmartArt. If I give my presentation, normally I go F5 on the keyboard and I give my presentation, I go through maybe using the wheel on my mouse. And you've seen the presentations before, haven't you? You know it. You come along and you see, um, I'm trying to explain the training booking process and the form looks, well, the, the, the slide looks as boring as anything. Fill out a web inquiry form, automated email is sent to confirm the receipt. Then I confirming the course. So how can we make that a little bit more exciting? Well, that's the smart art feature. So how do we do that? And especially how do you do that with a bullet list that's already there? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight the list. So you can see there I've highlighted that list there. I'm then going to go up onto the top here and you can see I've got a section or a button that I'm going to click on that says convert to smart art. So let's click on that button there we. So with the smart art, in fact, if you start hovering over, you can see some of the options are available and they're already starting to look a little better, as you can see there. So you've got options there, some just standard ones like an organizational chart. You've got a process list, they're probably a little bit smaller. You've got this one here as well. I mean, there's various different options that are available. But if you want to see a full array of graphics, you can click on more smart art graphics at the bottom of that list and it will open up this box and you can see the smart art graphics box. And then over on the left hand side, you can see that it's split up into various categories. So if I want to see the process, I can click on process. I can very see the various categories that are available there. So what I'm just going to do is just choose one here. So let's just choose one that's a bit more top to the bottom. There we go. So there's one here. There we go. Staggered process. And in fact, if you just look and you can see just here, it will give you a description as to what the staggered process is. So you chose to do a downward progression through stages. Each of the first five lines of level one correspond with a rectangle. So this is five lines. Unused text does not appear. So sometimes if I just click on this OK, uh, I'm getting five lines. Notice that the fifth one doesn't appear. So it might be a case of maybe splitting this process up onto a couple of pages. It might be that that's the case there. Or if I wanted to, I could change the smart art graphic as well. Uh, how do I change it? Well, if I just have a quick look at other layouts that are available at the top, there we go. So here's one that will include all of them. And one of the things you want to just ch check, let's have a look, see which one that was. That was the segmented process diagram or smart art graphic. So what I can do then is I just want to check to see how that's going to look full screen. So there we go. It looks like you can see it. It should be clear enough. I might need to make some edits to some of these here. So the first thing with this is if I want to make any edits to the smart art, I can go over to this left hand side here. So for instance, booking form is filled in and returned. I might need to add the ED after that confirming course. Uh, web inquiry form, I've got that in titles. Uh, this one here, I don't need to be in capitals and therefore I'd make my various edits in here. If I accidentally get rid of that box by clicking on the cross, I can bring it up again by using or clicking on this little arrow as you can see on the left hand side. So give that a click. And then we can see the bullet points here uh, as well. That's fantastic. Great. So other things we can do is we can change the colors. So if you just want to change them according to the theme colors, let's just say you're not fussed with the colors at all. Just go up to the top and then I'm going to click on click change theme colors and I can choose the various colors to make them colorful and so that I can maybe do something that will stick into somebody's mind. I'm just using the scroll bar down to just go up and down so I can just see the various colors. Just move myself down the bottom there. So let's just choose to an obvious color section. Uh, let's choose, uh, there we go, that looks great. Oh dear. That's a bit better. So we're going to choose that those colors there. Fantastic. Great. So, so far, so good. And we'll have a look and have a um, 
look here. In fact, if I want to see it from this particular sl slide, if I hold down Shift and press F5, I can see this from the particular slide I want to see it from. Great, excellent. So there we go with the smart art graphics here. We've got the design and the format tabs at the top. I just want to draw your attention to these two here. They will appear when you click on your smart art graphic. So if I click on the design part, I can change these here. I can change the different shapes and add them. I go right, right to left, left to right, or I can move options up and down if I've got one selected. I can click and swap the order, as you can see, and swap them back up. So I can see that little process there. If I must make sure that one of these particular boxes or bullets within the smart art is red, just to really highlight it. So here we go. So client replies with specific requirements. That's the one that takes most time. So I'm just gonna right click on that, go to fill and choose a red color. I'm just gonna choose a dark red, not a bright red color. So now if I just view, I can maybe say that one there, that's the, the point which most causes us most time uh, there because obviously we want to make sure that the um, uh, the training is tailored for a particular client so that's looking good so with the smart art that so remember you click on the graphic and then we look we can see at the bottom there there's a segmented process diagram now under the format options at the top i've got options here to change the text and the shape and all of that uh, there and the um, design side of things